Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Fetchum today in Surrey, near Leatherhead, and I brought you to yet another St Mary's Church. Very old church, 11th century. It's got Roman brickwork. They actually reckon it's actually um, Norman, late Anglo-Saxon when it, the original foundations were here. But as I said many times before, there could have been a settlement on this site beforehand. It's a lovely, lovely old church. So we look around. The church was heavily restored between 1854 and 1904 by one Reverend Moon. What a great name, Reverend Moon. It sounds like there's people in there, so I'm not going to go in there. I wanted to go in there and see the brickwork, but I don't go in there with a the camera if people are rehearsing. Yeah, I think they're rehearsing, so I'm not going to go in and dis disturb them. Once again, I need to come back here and start dowsing these places, find out if there was any ancient settlements here, like a lot of these sites are. We're near an ancient spring as well, which I'm going to take you to in a minute. The Thorncross Spring. And look at this, wow. That's fantastic stonework. I find it amazing they've got Roman stonework in there. They must have found lying about. There are a few Roman villas around this area, notably on Ashton Common. Um, yeah, it's really, really interesting. There's some Roman stonework also in, is it St Catherine's Church, which I'll, I'll post a link to that video bef below, in Stoke de Arbenham. They also had um, uh, Roman brick Roman brickwork on the outside. So it's amazing. Unfortunately, this tomb has seen better days. Some nice gravestones here, actually. As you can see... Oh, so peaceful here. To think Leatherhead Town Centre is only just over there. Probably less than half a mile. A lot of people out there being a bank holiday Monday. It's such a tranquil setting. I've never been here before. I've known of this church. We never explored it. It's nice to go inside, but a lot of them are locked. And so people are practicing in there, so I didn't really want to walk in and disturb them. I love churches, although I'm not religious whatsoever. Um, I just find them a, a fascinating slice of not only history, but the identity with the local community. Obviously there's, you know, lots of houses sort of you can tell are sort of 1940s to 1960s onwards we are in the heart of suburbia although the Surrey Hills are just over there yeah this would have been the the nucleus of uh, the local hamlet I love to know what's on this site before the church was here though like all these churches I keep saying this it's fascinating Fetchum Park, the main gate to Baddingham, Baddingham Drive has been closed. So see yes, this lovely private property. So there you go, a quick jaunt around St Mary's Church in Fetchum and now I'm just going to go just around the corner and we're going to try and find Thorncroft Spring, an ancient spring. Let's go. Okay, just walking down to the spring along this main road into Leatherhead. Very thin wall here. <laughs> Oh, 
as you walk through lovely old buildings here along this road. find it which side of the bridge is it I think it's down here this side let's have a, let's have a look this is rather embarrassing I can't find it what a complete anti-climax to a video it is on this bridge it's got to be it's one of the, unless it's all overgrown I can't get down to it to the actual spring itself mm, okay Found it. Let's go. It's just down here. Down these little steps to the Thorncroft Spring. Wow. Amazing how crystal clear the water is. This ancient spring would have been used for medicinal purposes before the industrialization of our nation. I think back in the day, you could probably drink it, but not now, although it's crystal clear. I'm sure it'd be all right, but you don't know what else has been in here since uh, this journey started. The spring was mentioned in a book called Holy World and Magical Waters of Surrey by a chap called Roland Baker. It's also said that King George III, on his way to Windsor, whenever he was going to Windsor, was stopped by here for its medicinal purposes. How true that is, I don't know. But people had come here for centuries for the healing properties of the water, when it was much clearer, of course. It was good for eyes, apparently. Very good for eyes. This is that trickling, it's so lovely, isn't it? One has to ask themselves, do these waters and these springs really have medicinal benefits? Or is it a placebo effect? I think they do. So clear. Very cold, but yeah comes out of a little culvert here and then down into the river mole. A charming little spot. So there you go, a quick visit to St Mary's Church in Fetcham and the ancient spring of Thorncroft. I'm really glad I found that. Hope you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe Please leave a comment if you know of any more springs in uh, the Surrey area, I know quite a few. Glorious day, it's 25 degrees today, lovely. Celsius that is. And uh, from a busy bank holiday Monday, I'll see you next time. Take care.